hello everyone in this video I'm going to show you use of filter method in Scala so let me create a list first of all so here for creating list I'm using a range method this method can populate a list automatically so uh, my list will be having element from 1 to 99 now what is the use of filter function or method so this filter will actually uh, will take a function and that function must return a boolean value it must return either true or false now what this filter method is going to do it will apply that function on every element of list and it will return the element for which that function will return true value so let's see first uh, how it is going to operate so we are taking one more variable so this variable will be storing all the list element for which that function will return true value and then we will call a dot filter and here you need to pass the function so for that we will define a function here so we are taking a function for even number this function is going to take a parameter integer data and it is going to return a boolean type of value and here we will check if x mod 2 equal equal 0 if this condition is satisfied we will return true else return false so if you can see we have a function that function will take single argument of integer data type and if that number is an even number true will be returned otherwise false now what we will do we will write this function name here so what this filter method is going to do it will filter out element of this list a and uh, those filtered element will be stored in list B okay so let's see uh, the output of this program and uh, for output we are going to print element of B so for that we are going to use for each function sorry for each loop let's compile it and run it fsc1 dot scala you can also use scala c for compiling scala code now we will run it so if you can see uh, in the output part we are having only even value so what this filter method will do it will take first element it will apply uh, this function on first element so for first element uh, which is one when this one is passed to this function false will be returned so in that case uh, that element will not be included in B but uh, in case of two when the second element which is two uh, for second element also this function is called and in that case true is returned so two is included in the list b so filter actually used for filtering the element of list so this is the one way of uh, filtering a list element now uh, the thing is that if you don't want to define a function separately let's say we don't want to define it separately so you can do the same thing here so how are we going to do that uh, we need a temporary variable so we are saying that uh, we are uh, applying this logic whatever logic we are going to write here on every element of list a and that uh, every element is denoted by temp so you can take here any name and in this side we will write the logic So this will be the logic. 
this logic says for every element is represented by temp if temp mode to equal equal zero so this is a condition if this condition is true true will be returned if this is false false will be returned we will save it we will compile it again so compile our program again and we will run it so again we are getting the same result okay now uh, one more change you can do here if you don't want to take this temporary variable you can delete this part now the thing is that what will be the name of temporary variable how we are going to refer every element of this list so here comes the use of underscore so underscore actually will represent every element one by one so if we're going to see the output again it's same so we have seen three ways for using filter method thank you very much for watching